Hey guys, Max from here back with another video and this is the review of the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus. While the 6s comes with a resolution of 1335 by 750 with a 4.7 inch display, the 6s Plus comes with a display of 1080p and 5.5 inches. While the 6s is good and compact for one-handed use, the 6s Plus is ideal for watching movies or playing games. So it depends on which person you are. The main key differences between the iPhone 6 and the 6s is speed. And speed is very much improved. It has an A9 processor which gives you iPad-like speed in a dual core processor. And it has 2 gigs of RAM which is pretty quick over the 1 gigs of RAM from the iPhone 6. And in gaming, the iPhone 6s is a beast. It not only is a dual core iPhone, but it handles most of the apps pretty quick. And with that metal in iOS 9, it's pretty quick as you can play games flawlessly compared to uh, laggy games in Android. Speaking about speed, the Touch ID is way faster than the previous Touch ID. This is the Touch ID 2.0 and it's crazy quick. And so, some people have complained that it's too fast so that you can't read your notification in the lock screen. Well, there's a trick to that. Uh, you can use your nail to unlock the phone or press the home button or use another finger which is not recognized. Or you can use the same old power button. And it's crazy quick. And compared to 6S and 6S Plus, the iPhone 6 fingerprint scanner is actually a little slow. And next, one of the biggest features in the iPhone 6S over the 6 is the new force touch display. So what it is, is basically a pressure sensitive display above your LCD panel which reacts to how hard you press the screen. And do note that it's not long press. If long press is there, you can press and move the apps around, but this is force touch. The next new feature in the iPhone 6S is the camera. Gone is the 8 megapixel camera and here is the new 12 megapixel camera capable of taking 4K video. And the front facing camera has been upgraded to 5 megapixels. So, one thing an iPhone does really good it take is take pictures and this iPhone 6s is a beast. Not only are the pictures clear, uh, clearer and sharper, but you can also record 4K which lagged in the iPhone 6 with the 8 megapixel camera. The iPhone 6s camera is a beast. It doesn't take too sharp photos or too saturated photos like the Note 5 or the S6 but it takes proper saturation and sharpness into matter and the pictures come out very well. As you may not see the difference in between the 8 megapixel and the 12 megapixel camera, it's little good to have more room to play with and more, the me more megapixels. While how the video recording goes, the iPhone 6s is pretty much the clear window of the iPhone 6. So the iPhone 6s has a 12 megapixel 4K camera which is capable of taking crispy 4K videos. While the iPhone 6 had a 1080p camera, this one has been upgraded to 4K so you can take those crispy videos. Well, speaking of the next feature is battery life and if you want full day battery life, you better opt for the 6s Plus. And the 6s has a 1700mAh battery while the 6s has 2570mAh battery. So it has much higher capacity and lasts for a longer time. While the 6s will come for pretty much one day, the 6s Plus can come the entire day pretty easily and can even come to those nights where you forget to charge it and it has pretty good standby time. Now one thing which I don't like in the 6s and 6s Plus is it's 250 and it has 16 gigs of storage as the starting price. So Apple's strategy is that People won't opt for the 16GB storage and will go to 64GB which makes Apple more money. Apart from that, the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus are one of the best phones of 2015. So who wants to buy it? So if you'd like to have a compact display and sacrifice battery life and a little bit of resolution, you can opt for the 6S. But if you want an amazing display, better battery life and you'd not mind if with the bigger display you can offer the 6s plus